What up y'all, this is Patrick Hayes. And today, what I wanna talk about is something that's really important for this life lesson, say, that we're on here on planet Earth. Because while we're here on planet Earth in this time-space matrix, um, polarity is a big thing that we're exploring. So the experience of having polarity, opposites, right? And one of the major lessons that I've found on my path of being here on the planet experiencing polarity is, is about finding balance points between polarities. And to understand what balance is and, um, and why balance is so necessary. See, anything that we call good in this world <clears throat> is good because it's a balance. In other words, anything that we call good, if it gets out of balance, it becomes something bad. So take for example, um, liking someone. So we like someone, that's a good thing to like something or like someone. But if we like it too much, we become obsessed with it and that's out of balance and that becomes a bad thing, becoming psychotically obsessive about it. Um, say like being protective over your child, that's a good thing. It's good to protect your child from danger. But if you get uh, too obsessive about protecting your child, you become very um, dominating or uh, restrictive. And that over protection then becomes out of balance and then it becomes a bad thing. Um, this can go for, uh, for you know, having fun and partying, going out and having a great time or spending time with people. That can be a great thing in moderation, right? Using it in the right amount, doing it in the right amount. But too much of it is an excess and it's, um, it's no longer healthy, right? Same thing with not enough, right? So not doing enough, not protecting your child enough. So you can see that all these things that we term good, good basically meaning um, in a real general sense that it uh, lowers suffering, right? And bad that it creates suffering. We could say good and bad based off of those terms. But you see that anything that we consider bad is basically something that's out of balance and we can find the good correlation to that. So with this understanding, we're, uh, we, we realize it's not so much of a binary of like good or bad, but actually it's more about, um, there's, there's one extreme, which we would call extreme to the positive side, another extreme, which we would say extreme to the negative side, or we could say the active and the passive side, but then there's a balance place in the center. And that balance place in the center is actually um, what we would call good, right? It's the, the optimum um, balance point between two different polarities. Now, where Rudolf Steiner talks about this, and this is really fascinating, especially for people that are interested in paranormal and otherworldly things. Rudolf Steiner talks about two different kinds of beings, the Aramonic beings and the Luciferic beings. And he said that these are two non-physical types of beings that influence the consciousness of humanity, but they both influence the consciousness of humanity in a different direction. The Aramonic beings influence them to, to deny the spiritual realm, to deny that anything other than the physical exists. Okay? Now, conversely, on the other side, the Luciferic beings work to influence the consciousness of humanity to deny the physical, to deny the physical body and to, um, to basically take refuge in the non-physical dimension and to basically just deny that any physicality has any real truth to it. So this is actually really easy to see how these two different um, modes of consciousness play out in the dimension. We see a lot of the Aramonic agenda uh, in mainstream science or uh, just in the whole ideology of people walking around that don't believe in anything beyond the physical, right? It's just the physical flesh, right? This is, that's all that exists. And then what comes of this is oftentimes extreme greed, um, extreme disrespect to the planet and other living things because if there's no spiritual dimension that exists, then nothing matters beyond this physical existence, which means that the only thing that does matter is to acquire more physical goods because that's all that's real. So we have that kind of paradigm running amok in the world. And on the flip side of that, and what a lot of you listeners probably um, uh, see more of, is the neglecting of the physical, right? So this is, I mean, you see this taught a lot in mythic literal religions. So uh, religions like Christianity or even um, Eastern religions like Buddhism or whatnot, that basically put a, um, they, they put much, much less importance on the physical realm. Right? The physical realm basically, and in a lot of them, it's like, in a lot of the religions, it's like 
the physical realm is an illusion. It doesn't even exist at all. And it's all about getting off the reincarnation cycle and stepping into your, uh, your spiritual body. And so people will basically just deny the body and work to develop themselves on the spiritual realm. But the physical realm doesn't exist and it's an illusion and there's, there's really no purpose for it. And the whole purpose of life is to get out of life and either go to the afterlife um, with 21 virgins or you know heaven or you say or um, or to develop your spiritual body um, and transcend so that you get off the reincarnation cycle so you see these two kind of polarities and again like what I was saying in the beginning what it is is it's a balance between the two and this is where it comes back to the moral of this whole transmission here is that it's about finding that balance point between the two but actually as Rudolf Steiner says when you find the balance point between the Aramonic and Luciferic beings, you actually propel yourself down the center of the tree of life, which actually goes higher than the two polarized sides. So actually what you're doing is you're utilizing and harnessing the energy of both of these kinds of entities. And you're, you're harmonizing the energy together into an energy that propels you forward down the center, right? Um, so you're taking the center path in a sense. And what this does is it actually um, helps you evolve. So you can't evolve, if you, you won't be evolving if you go completely down one side, but you also won't be evolving if you try to deny either one of them. In fact, what you do is you, you wanna harness the energy from both sides. So you basically, you're looking at the truth on both sides and in the harnessing of them and in the alchemical cauldron of our, um, say, our, our experience as an individuated soul. When we can take two polarizing concepts, two polarizing ways of being, and bring them into this alchemical cauldron and find a way of harmonizing the two, that gives us extreme power. And this works across all dimensions when we're dealing with polarity. When we can take two polarized um, like ways of being and bring them together and find a way to work with them symbiotically, we become very empowered. This is the yin and yang in martial arts. And when a, yin, when a martial artist learns how to balance yin and yang, they develop somewhat like superhuman powers, right? They can do amazing things because they're balancing the yin and yang. They're balancing the polarity and they are, uh, they're, they're taking action from that balance point of polarity. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll talk to you next time. One love. If you liked the video you just saw and you wanna support me in bringing more content like that to you, donate to my Patreon page. There's a link pinned in the comments below, and when you donate to the page, you get access to all sorts of cool giveaways, like exclusive content, free music downloads, monthly group chats with me, and more. Now, every single donation that comes in goes directly to improving the quality and the quantity of my content. So thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you on the flip side.